hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video in this video i'm gonna do a little csrf code uh, on using the x document and if you guys didn't know what the x document is basically it's a uh, the library that has been added by the uh, microsoft on i believe on dotnet 3.5 uh, not exactly sure i guess on that but you could definitely use on dotnet 5 core or any of it and it's x document class which you can uh, create uh, the uh, the xml file and you can also uh, parse the xml file using the uh, x document class uh, there is another one called xml document also you can do by that one as well but on this video i'm going to just show you the uh, basic of how we can create xml using the x document on c -sharp, okay so i am in this uh, visual studio here and in visual studio i just have one program uh, the name is space called dotnet tools it's just a just the class is called just a program and it has a main main uh, uh sorry for the function here and i'm going to create another static functions okay and this function is going to be a create the xml uh and uh, and i'm going to call this here the create xml and i'm just going to show you how it's going to look and the first is i'm going to create this like this xml here i'm going to generate this xml using the x document okay so the first thing we could also definitely write a comment and also this is called xml uh, processing uh, and this is all the xml elements uh, which we could definitely uh, create uh, using the x document here okay so so let's begin mm. So here is a, a X, uh, XML create function. So let me create the first thing. The first thing I need to create is the comment. Okay, to create a comment, let me do uh, the first create is uh, X document. That is what it's called, X document, right? And you need to import this XML as a link because it's a uh, it's XML that we, we could also are using. You can we can we can also write a link uh, on this one. Uh, and let me do this is called a document. Uh, xml or i can do xml and new x document okay so basically we will create as x document this will be our xml okay and in this xml inside here we could chain it okay the another the first thing what we need is the comment here okay so to do that we need to do a x comment and it's pretty basic and is x comment we just need to add uh, the the comment section what we want to provide so we'll just add this one that's it now we'll do a comma and we're going to chain again so we're going to create a new object for this uh here this is just uh the pro it's called the x processing instruction so we're going to use create the x processing instruction this one here okay and it has we have element here and this is what is the element it's going to be uh okay and we need to also provide that uh, what is the data of this elements is going to be and this is the attribute which we are going to add and we just add this all the attribute and x processing unit basically it's just giving the instruction for this xml okay the main part is this one this is the main part of the xml and xml start with each and every element so this is called each and every element here okay so we're gonna create each and every every element the first element we have is a pops okay so let me do a comma here and we're going to create a something called new x element so in the x element what we have is something called the first thing is pops okay so we'll do comma again and in the comma now we're going to create another element called book actually book has a two element right and we can create a two element regularly here okay so we can create like a and this is also going to be another new element which is inside the pop and that is going to be and this is going to be new new x element and and what is this x element it's called the book book is an x element in the another x element we have so we're going to create a book and inside the book also right inside the i'll just make this uh, here okay inside the book also we have another element called x element and what element we have inside the book we have something called title so we're going to create a title here and in the title we don't have any other element inside the title we have only the name of the title so we'll just provide this name 
okay so this is one book is we created one book and we, if we want to create another book then we'll just copy this element and now we will create another book uh, the another book, book will be created here so i'll just copy this one and that's it and i'll just paste it here okay this is my another book and oh i do have another uh, uh, element called author so let me create that element also that kill element is author element is after the title element so this is my title element right here so what i'm going to do i'll just copy this and paste it here and same one here copy and paste it here so now here i'll just copy the author and i'll just put the author here okay and this is the author of the first one so i'll just copy the author and put it here and this is the author of the second one i'll just copy this one and i'll post put it, put it here okay and that's it guys the xml is ready so now i'll just i will just uh console lock here console the right line and i'll just do xml here okay so okay it's gonna call the create xml function which is does this guy and we're gonna write our xml so let's see how it looks like Let me close again and run it again. Sometimes it doesn't even print it out. So here it is. The first thing is a, is a comment. Oh, actually, I don't need this at all. But anyway, but this is a instruction. And this is the XML, which is created right here. Okay. Uh, I think we don't need this, of course. Uh, okay. So this is how we can create. And another thing is we could also save this XML in our file, uh, in our di di uh, directory if we want. Let me get grab this directory where this project is located and i can open this folder in a file explorer so i can hear it open and you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on the same directory here so what i can do is i can do xml dot save right and it, it, we have to tell you where it's going to be saved and we, i'll just tell that okay this is going to save on this path and we need to also provide the, what is the the file is going to be and this is a book xml so I'll just tell that, okay, it's a books XML that's going to be saved. So now what it does, it, it just uh, print, it will show it in a console. And after the console, it will also write my file here. Let me close again and run again. Okay, here it is. And here it is, it's a XML file. And if I put it here, and here it is this is which i just wrote it down right and it's printing right here okay so now let me do another example uh creating the xml using a namespace let's assume we have something called namespace like this in our xml and we want to create exactly like this xml then how we can create it and uh, i'm going to create for that one i'm going to create another function i'll just comment this out and i'm going to create another function here called static void and it's a great xml right with a name space okay so this this will create xml using a name space so i will just put it here okay so now let's uh, let me create the x document exactly the same one as before so x document call a dot xml is equal to new x document okay so now let me see how this uh, file look like this structure okay the first is start with a root and the root has a namespace called name is called namespace and it also has a prefix for namespace this is called a prefix the so prefix is aw so now let me grab this uh, namespace with aw namespace so i could uh, write here a namespace call aw uh, I will write a a w dash the name is namespace going to be so I'll just create like this okay so once I have created this one I mean there is different ways to do it but uh, this is one of the way to do it which I'm gonna do and so I create a namespace called a w here and this is my x namespace which we I could use this on my XML here XML here okay so let me go back here uh, here the first thing I want as a root and the root it has the attribute as well so what i'm going to do is on x document here the first is we have a x elements right 
and x element with a namespace so create the x element and this x element is a root so what i'm going to do i'm going to go here and i'm going to write a root and it has an add two attribute here with the prefix okay so the first attribute which i have here is it's it's a xml namespace and uh, aw prefix okay so what i need to do is we already specified this is going to be our namespace so whenever we have a namespace right for the uh, elements then we need to uh, provide what is the namespace is going to be for this element and this element is aw here it's, it's, it's in front it's not fc it has aw so what we can do is we can copy this and we'll put it here okay so we're going to add our namespace in the front of root and root has namespace called aw in the front but it has also an attribute here it's a bit defined so here what we need to do now we need to create our new x attribute okay and new x attribute has x xml namespace and aw right this is what we have so i don't need to write this at all what i can use is i can get from our x namespace dot xml namespace so it will grab this namespace from my root which is this one and it will add it here and it will add we need to add this value after this right and this is my first namespace and the first attribute with the namespace and the second attribute is start with fc so just do xml ns fc and now we need to copy this and we need to provide it here okay so this is my second attribute and i have a uh, the element called fc child here okay so we need to create another element inside it inside the root and this is the inside the root we i have and now i will create a x element and x element name is called child okay it's called child but it has a namespace called fc so now i need to write here namespace fc which i haven't created the namespace fc yet but i need to create a namespace with fc as well and i believe the namespace of fc is this one right this one uh sorry this one so i'll copy this and i will put it here so this is going to be so i'll put us put here namespace with fc and the child and now i have another one inside this called attribute called different child okay so now let me create another one which is inside this one and inside this one i need to do new x element and it has called different but it has it doesn't have the fc namespace it has what a sorry namespace aw plus the attribute called different child and it has a value called other content okay so we are up to here we already create up to here the another thing is we need to create these two of the elements the first element is called child 2 so let me create that element inside here we need to create a new element and this element called what's called child 2 okay does that have value yes it does have value so this is the value we need to provide here and it does have a namespace as well and namespace is called i believe aw here so i'll just grab that aw and i'll just put it in the front now same thing will happen for another one called child 3 so on child 3 we have a c3 c3 content but we have what fc and that's all now our xml is ready so i'll just do a console log dot right line and i'll just print it out and make sure that is exact same xml which i created over there okay 
So now, okay, now I'll just run it. Okay, it's running. Here it is. Now I'll just try to verify it's exact XML or not. Okay, the so first start with the root. And uh, yep, this is a namespace aw, and this is our uh, prefix. This is our the prefix aw, and this is the value. Of course, with the prefix is fc, and this is our value here. And fc child aw different child and other content, which is, looks good. And similar with this child to fc and perfect. This looks exactly the same one what we need. So we could also save this in our folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to program and i'm going to grab this name i'll put it here and i'll just do run this program okay so once i run this program okay i need to run it again sometime it doesn't run it okay Maybe I need to do one more time. Okay, it's running it and I believe it's printing right here in a book. So let me open this book and put it here. Okay, so here it is. It's XML file and this book is exactly like this file. Okay, no difference. So we exactly create with a namespace as well. So guys, that's all for this video. I'm going to put this code on GitHub and i hope you guys learn something new and if you guys like my video please do subscribe and like and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now